Friends, back again with another awesome tutorial. Today, blending 3D objects with real life within After Effects. So I'm gonna do this in two ways. I'm gonna show you how to do it with a green screen clip, completely free. You can find these all over the internet. And then the tools we're gonna be using in After Effects are gonna be completely free, as well as I'm gonna show you guys how to do this with Element 3D, which is a plugin by Video Copilot that allows you to bring in 3D objects. So a little bit more advanced, which I highly recommend you guys look into this. It's gonna help you take your stuff to a whole new level. Anyways, enough talking. Let's hop in here. Let's bring these clips in After Effects. So we're gonna do this with two clips right here. Right here we have a clip I took on a trip to Paris for work. We have the Arc de Triomphe. And I shot this in 4K, shot it on a DJI Ronin. So we have nice, solid, smooth footage as you can see right here. Highly recommend you guys try and get as close to being steady as you can. Maybe even do this with tripod shots. This is handheld. If I wanted to, I could actually right click and nest this and then apply a warp stabilizer and Premiere After Effects, whatever you wanna do just to steady it up. Just make sure you're not having footage just kind of flying all over the place. All right, so let's go ahead and take our footage. I'm gonna right click it, replace it with an After Effects composition. If you guys have been here for a while, you already know that I work through dynamic links using Premiere and After Effects. If you guys only use After Effects, that's 100% fine. And then before I start this tutorial, just wanna mention you guys, Effects Pack 2.0 for Adobe Premiere is on the website. We've got new stuff coming soon. Check out the links in the description if you guys are interested. All right, so that was my quick little plug. Let's get right into this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna do some tracking and then we're gonna set up the 3D object. Then I'm gonna show you how to do it the green screen way. So we have our footage here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set it up to track the spot where we would like to place our 3D object. So I'm gonna try and place it right about here and I'm gonna try and get like a cool 3D object of a statue. You guys probably already saw what it looked like at the beginning. So to do this, what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna right click on this clip and I'm going to go to track motion. Now I'm gonna take this track point and I'm gonna place it where I'd like. I'm just gonna make the square a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna place it right about there. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click over here in my timeline. I'm gonna click new. I'm gonna to go to null object and I'm going to rename this to tracking tracking info. So that's super important. Come over here to your tracking window, go ahead and click edit target, and then make sure it's selected on tracking info, which is where our information is gonna be stored. So now we're good. So let's go ahead and just track this backwards. So let's go ahead and click that. And as you see, it's gonna to stick to the spot pretty well, which is good. It's gonna get all that tracking information so that we can plant a 3D object there. And so now I'm gonna just scrub back to the middle right here and I'm going to track forward. So I'm gonna click this play button. It's gonna apply all the tracking information forward. Okay, so we got the tracking information looking pretty good. So what I'm gonna do is just click apply and then I'm gonna and then I'm gonna keep it on X and Y and just click OK. So now that all just applied into our nulls. All of it is stored right here under tracking info. So that's good. So now what we can do is we can bring in our 3D element. I'm just going to bring over Google and I'm going to look up free OBJ file statue. And you guys can go through. It doesn't have to be a statue. You can look for any cool free stuff. Or if you find a not or if you find an awesome model, um, you can go ahead and pay for it and just bring it in. And as you see, these are all free and these are some really cool things that we can actually bring in here. Okay, so once you've got that downloaded, you unzip it, you put the file in a place where you're gonna remember. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna right click here, I'm gonna go to new and I'm gonna go to solid. And I'm doing the element version first and then I'll show the green screen way after this. I'm going to name this statue and then go ahead and click okay. Now I'm gonna go over to my effects and presets and I'm going to look up element. Drag that onto you, drag that onto your solid just like this. You're gonna see the solid color has gone away because we have element using this placeholder. And we can go up to our effect controls and then go ahead and click scene setup. So here we are in element. If it's in a smaller window, it's easier just to make this full screen. Now what I'm gonna do, just click import and I'm going to go to and I'm gonna go navigate to the spot where I saved that file. So I saved mine in my 3D objects folder right here. And this is the name of the file I downloaded. It's an OBJ file. I'm gonna open that up and I'm gonna click okay. And you're gonna say, and you're gonna see this is a very high quality one that I chose, so it's actually really good to use. But we're gonna do some things just to make this work a little bit better. So this is way too big. So let's go down here to transform and just click normalize size. Next, we're gonna keep scrolling down a little bit until you see surface options. We're gonna click optimize mesh. That's just gonna make it a little bit easier to work with and just decrease the vertices and faces. All right, so now we can actually select a texture if we'd like. I'm gonna to go to my presets and I have some pro shaders here. You guys can look up any kind of textures, any kind of tutorials on how to download and install them if you would like. This is all optional, but it's just gonna add a nicer little aesthetic onto here. So I'm just gonna add this one. You can turn the environment on and then just make the color white like that. Um, and we can also change any kind of presets we like for, for the actual lighting of how this is gonna turn out. So I'll just keep it on natural, just like this. Okay, so that's looking good. You can apply any changes to your model if you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. And you're gonna see this is gonna bring it into our scene right here. So it's kind of just stuck in the middle. 
So what we're going to need to do is let's just position this so it's looking the way we want to. So let's go ahead. So let's go ahead and actually just come over here to our effect controls. So first, before we turn it and change it around, we're going to go to render settings. We're going to go to lighting and then we're going to make sure use comp lights is selected and we're going to choose the lighting that we selected from our preset. So I'm pretty sure mine was on natural. So yes, that's looking pretty good. And if you want to brighten that up, you can just put up the brightness multiplier. OK, so now let's go over to world transform. And then we're going to just open up world rotation and we're just going to turn this around so it's facing us and if you guys want you can even right click here and just select and put in a new light so maybe even a spotlight just to kind of point towards it now what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to click on my statue and i'm going to select the parent to our tracking info just like that so it's matching all of the motion that we tracked earlier. As you can see, it's kind of matching this little null box that we have in the corner here. So we can just take it now and just place it in the spot that we want and then just kind of resize it. OK, so another thing you can do to make this blend a lot better is I'm going to add some noise just to make it look a little bit more lifelike. And I'm just going to bump that up and you're going to see um, what and you're going to see it's just going to give it some more like natural grain. I'm going to turn off color noise and I'm just going to bump this down, just make it like a slight little grain, maybe something like six percent that's making it look a lot better and then the main thing that's making this look a little bit off-putting is there's no shadow so we're gonna have to add a shadow here so i'm gonna control d on this just to duplicate it i'm gonna close all these down i'm gonna select the anchor point of this and just put it at the feet of this and then i'm gonna rotate it like that and then what i'm gonna do is just look up a fill effect and we're gonna drop it on the duplication here and i'm gonna rename that to shadow actually let's make the color of that fill effect black and then we can make the opacity a little bit lower like that. Let's go ahead and show our modes and we can change that to something like soft light, hard light, something like soft light to actually just scale this down a bit too. So just to make the shadow look a little bit more realistic, I'm just going to add a quick little, little fast blur onto it. So let's drop that onto our shadow. And then what we can do is just bump that up, bump that up like that. I'm going to select my shadow comp again. I'm going to duplicate it. So control D and I'm actually going to select it. I'm going to rotate it again, except make this one kind of going from the front just to kind of add some shadows around the base. So that's how you can add a statue into your scene. I'm going to click file save. Okay guys, so now I'm going to show you how to do this similar, but without using element 3d, I'm going to show you how to do this with just green screen clips. So I have this, so I have this shot right here. I'm going to try and make something cool pop up right when, right whenever she walks over this imaginary line right here. So we can cut off the space. So this is shot handheld. So we have some natural movement in here. It's a good shot to work on though. So I'm going to bring this into after effects. So this time, instead of just using regular motion track, I'm going to try and do a different kind of tracking. I'm going to use the 3D camera tracker. So let's go to our effects and presets and just look that up. 3D camera tracker. And this is one of my favorite tools to use in After Effects. I have a bunch of different videos doing a lot of cool stuff on this. I'll link a lot of those down below for you guys to check out. And then while that is loading up, I'm going to look for my green screen clip or transparent clip. I'm going to use this one from footagecrate.com. You can definitely check it out in the link below. It isn't sponsored. I just like the site a lot. They have a bunch of cool stuff you can use with the background already removed. But what you can do is just look up royalty free green screen and you'll find and you'll find a bunch of cool stuff to use on YouTube, which you could then use an online downloader, download the clip and then bring it into After Effects. So let's go back to After Effects. Our 3D camera tracker has already done its thing. So we have our 3D points as you see if I move along here and if I put my cursor around, you're going to see that there's this bullseye letting me select the area that I want to paste things onto. So I'm actually going to select this area right here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to click create solid and camera. It's going to open up this track solid and it's going to make a 3D camera for me. So now what I can do is I can actually just reposition this a little bit to the right and then I'm going to right click on that track solid. I'm going to click pre compose and then click OK. So now what we can do is let's go ahead and double click on that track solid. We're going to zoom in a little bit and this is looking a little small. So let's go to composition composition settings. So you're seeing it's only 270 pixels by 270. Let's make that 1080 by 1080. Click OK. And then we can just delete this track solid uh, placeholder. Now we can actually put anything we want in here. So we're going to place our green screen clip in here. So let's go click project. And then this actually just finished downloading. So I'm going to show that folder and then drag that clip I was talking about into my project bin, my green screen clip. In this case, since it's from footage crate, this is completely transparent in the background. So that looks really cool. It's going to have these icicles just kind of pop up like that. And then I'm actually just going to resize that a tiny bit. So that's all good. Let's click back on our linked comp and then let's play this out. 
And here's what we got. So now we just need to affect the timing of this a little bit. And we also need to change a little bit of the rotation. So let's open up our options. Let's go to transform. And then let's just change the X rotation. And we can also scale that down a little bit. Now let's go back to our track solid and let's make it so that it doesn't start until right about here. So let's just drag this bar over and then come back. See how that looks. Drag it up a bit. And that looks really, really cool. I think that looks super realistic. Use the 3D camera tracker just to pull that off. Before we click file save to view what this looks like in Premiere, make sure you guys listen to this tip. It's super important. There's actually a glitch with the 3D camera tracker using the dynamic link. So click on your footage, go to effect controls and just delete their 3D tracker once you're done with it. Then we can click file save and then go into Premiere. If you don't do that, it's gonna make everything kind of crash and you're gonna get a bunch of errors. Hey guys, so that's all we got for this tutorial. If you did enjoy this, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you guys are new, join the community. If you guys have been here for a while, check me out on Instagram, check me out on Twitter, check me out on Facebook. We have a Facebook group where you guys can share your stuff. We have an Instagram hashtag where you guys can share your stuff. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and the new series is gonna be dropping tomorrow. Super excited to unveil that. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys later.